Hello and thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show. A band of brothers with one from another mother. Canadian rock outfit Bleecker have hit a career high, picking up a nomination for Breakthrough Group of the Year at the Juno Awards. Joining the ranks of fellow Canucks Michael Bublé, Avril Lavigne and Feist, who've previously taken home the honour. After a shake-up last year, they're back with a new name, a different lineup, and an evolved sound. Bleeker, join us in the studio to talk about their latest album, Erase You. Guys, we're here with the Bleaker Boys. Hey, Hello. what's up? Welcome to the show. We've got Taylor Perkins, the man with the golden chops on voice. We've got Mike Van Dyke bringing in the bass, the bass guitar, but here with the acoustic guitar, and Cole Perkins on guitar. Now, you guys are a band of brothers, you two yes. blood brothers, yes. Taylor and Cole. Uh, do you ever get any into any uh, brotherly squabbles? Is that part of um, life on tour? Well, I think, yeah, I think any brothers probably get in a bit of fights, but. Um, I, I think can see you guys keeping you know, each other under the table. Yeah, we're just right gonna now. stop it, <laughs> guys. Settle yeah. down. Yeah, oh, it's good. We, you know, we um, we know how to push each other's buttons, but at the same time, we know when to, you know, we're okay. We're good. And Mike, how do you come into the fold? What's your role in this in this in this uh, oh, family I've, band? I've known these kids for a while. <laughs> these now. kids. All, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're my elder, but yeah. yeah, for many years we all started playing music at the same time, together at the same store. Now. <laughs> One of the best parts about uh, being in a band of friends and brothers is that you get to share the successes together. And congratulations are in order because you have uh, been uh, nominated for a Breakthrough Group of the Year at the Juno Awards Ceremony that's due to take place uh, next month. Do you feel like you're coming into your own on this record? I definitely think so. I think this is the most natural uh, music we've ever made and uh, the most fun to play live as well, which is extremely important to us. So. Um, it really feels like we're all kind of, you know, melding, so it's, it's really good. Let's take a look at you in action. This is your latest single, Off Raise You, Highways. On from your latest album, Erase You. Tell us, what's the message behind that record? Um, I think with most of the songs, it's kind of about, uh, you know, getting free of things, getting free of, like, you know, negative energy, getting free of maybe old habits, uh, maybe just, like, going out and trying new things. And I think that's why we love being in a band. We get to travel so much and meet so many new people, see many new cities, and Mike loves food, so he gets to dry a lot of food all the time. Yes. I think that's kind of what we're, we're trying to write about. Uh, in terms of shaking things up and shaking things off, you've had a bit of a change last year. Your lineup uh, shifted and you changed your name. You went from Bleaker Ridge to just Bleaker. Uh, one of your bandmates went off to join 6AM, fronted by Nikki Six from Mock Motley Crew, and then his brother followed. Was it just the name that changed or has the group's sound also evolved? I think the group's sound has evolved a little bit. I think. We've kind of, we used to kind of build walls where we try to write in a certain genre, like a very rock kind of thing. And I think we've kind of broken those down and we just kind of do whatever we want now. Yeah. It's really nice. And we found um, a company that really supports that. And um, yeah, so it's just kind of like no rules now. It's really freeing. Free. And you're, you're free yeah. and living the dream. You've got lots of tour dates coming up this year. Do you get up to no good when you're on tour? I imagine a band of uh, four strapping young men. Definitely not. I think, you know, <laughs> Come on, my give mom you, might Give each other this. up. Give each other up. Yeah. No, actually, well, we've been doing this, I think, since we were 13. So uh, I think we kind of got through some of that stuff. And we're just old men now. We just, you know, <laughs> now we have fun. Now, this is your first time in France. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to thank Paris. You, thank you. Uh, what have you discovered along the way? You mentioned just before we came we on air that you saw the Eiffel Tower. The tip of the Eiffel Tower. Um, our drummer was sleeping in the in the car and we woke him up. And well, he's, he's still sleeping now. He's backstage. sleeping right now, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we saw a bit of the Eiffel Tower. Um, I think, and the whole city has a highway around it. Like, yes, the periphery. Yeah, yeah, that's such a cool thing. I've never been to a city that has that. And what, what, what about you guys? What have you discovered about the city of Paris? The, the food, I yeah, like, keep going back to the food. You're just really food. hungry, yeah. aren't you, yeah. Mike? Yeah. <laughs> we need to get you boy. something after the show. He's like six, eight, you know. He's got to feed this uh, this machine. What's your, fa here. what's your favorite uh, What's your favorite food here in Paris? Oh. Have you had a croissant yet? 
Yes. Last oh, yeah, night, yeah. I had the best burger I've ever had in my life. The best burger? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a, a Canadian coming to Paris and having <laughs> yeah, a burger. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, kind, of, yeah, kind of travesty, but... Uh, now, when you're on the, on the tour bus or in a plane, who do you have plugged into your ear? Who are you listening to? Um, well, we're all different. I usually listen to talk radio because I'm a terrible person. Or Talk just, radio? Yeah. I wouldn't have picked that. Well, because I'm like, it's music all day, all day, right? Okay. So it's like sometimes I listen to talk radio. Or The Stranger by Billy Joel. Yes. Okay. It's a big one for all of us. It's on repeat. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of Chance, Chance the Rapper. I'm sure you all heard the news. Mm -hmm. The music world is in mourning. Uh, Chuck Berry, the founding father of rock and roll, has passed away in his home state of Missouri. He was 90 years old. What did he mean to you? Rock and roll, really. I think <laughs> I, I read a John Lennon quote, and he was like, if, if you had to name, rename rock and roll, you could uh, call it Chuck Berry. Yeah. Really. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be the same without, without him. Yeah. And Taylor? Um... Uh, Back to the Future is what it means yes. to me. Yeah, <laughs> Marty McFly. When Marty McFly plays, uh, plays uh, what is it, Johnny Be Good? Yeah. Yeah, that kind of like, I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, what nice. is this? Yeah. yeah. Go, Johnny, go! <laughs> Nice. Well, his music will live on forever. During his seven-decade-long career, Chuck Berry influenced generations of musicians uh, like Leaker here. The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Elvis and the Beach Boys picked up tricks from the legendary guitarist and songwriter. Berry is best known for hits like Johnny Be Good, Roll Over Beethoven and Sweet Little Sixteen. In 1984, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Grammys and was among the first inductees to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame two years later. He may be gone, but we'll be hearing more from Chuck Berry. Last year, he announced that he'll be releasing his first album in nearly four decades. The album, called Chuck, is dedicated to his wife of 68 years and is expected to be released later this year. Until then, this is Johnny Be Good. Moving on to the 70s French it girl Jane Birkin. The English singer and songwriter is heading out on tour to perform new music off her new album Gainsbourg Symphonique. The record takes the hit songs of her one-time partner in love and music, Serge Gainsbourg, and recasts them in a classical light. The album is a creative surge for Birkin, who has revealed that she may only have 10 years to live in light of a recent cancer diagnosis. Let's take a listen. À votre avis, qu'avons-nous vu de l'amour De vous à moi, vous m'avez eu mon amour. Ne vous déplaise en dansant là. So you guys are now excited to look up uh, Jane Birkin and Serge Gainsbourg and get into some some French music. I'm yes, I feel like we don't know anything now. So that's <laughs> now you have some some homework to do after this yeah. show. You're going to be playing in Paris at uh, L'Etoile. What can audiences expect from a Bleaker gig? Uh, I guess a lot of energy, um, mm. and we have a lot of fun. So yes. um, if, as long as the crowd's having fun, we'll give it right back. I think that's I think um, it's like 50-50. So. Um, and you'll expect the Dutchman. He's the, the flying Dutchman on stage. He usually um, jumps off and uh, crowd surfs. Oh, yeah? Fantastic. Well, maybe tomorrow, or maybe this show. He's never done it before, yeah. but <laughs> Very come out, you might roll. do it. And Cole, what about you? Energy. It's all the energy for me. Like, I just get such a high when I'm on stage. And... Well, I can tell you guys seem, your, your drummer is asleep downstairs, so <laughs> yeah. your shows must be pretty He's saving energy. his energy. So, you know, he's got to get, he's he's get it ready. tonight's gig. Yeah. Well, we're going to get a little preview of that. We're very lucky. You're going to leave us with some music from your new album. Thanks, everybody at home, for watching. And remember our website. Connect with us on the socials. There's more news coming up on France 24 right after this. Going to leave it now in the very able hands of Bleeker. Mm. Take it away, guys. Mm. <laughs> Before you go, I might 
Sweet, sweet lies.